Okay, so today we're going to unbox the Toshiba Encore. This is the 32 gigabyte model. So as we can see, it's an eight inch touch screen. Auto bright display, 1280 by 800. It has two cameras on the front and back. It's optimized for Skype. It has micro ports, including HDMI, USB, and SD. GPS is included. It's a one handheld device, and it's Xbox to go ready. Toshiba leading innovation. And on the back, it tells you what we've actually got inside. So we've got the Atom Z3740 processor, two gigabyte of onboard memory, an eMMC 32 gigabyte hard drive, true bright display. It's light gold, Windows 8.1, and so on. And it actually comes with Microsoft Office Home and Student, which on its own costs £100 in the UK. Uh, this device actually costs £250. Although we might see that price drop quite a lot over the next year. So the security seal is a is a bit of a pain to get off. I did struggle a little bit with it. I must apologise for my voice as well. I do I do have the flu at the moment, so and it was very cold while unboxing this video. It's getting winter here in the UK, so unfortunately I won't be taking the device outside to test its screen. It's far too cold. So here we go, let's open the box. So we have a little uh, flyer here. Encore recommended accessories. So on the left we have the Encore stand case. Which comes in black, red, green and blue. And then we have the touch screen pen. And the Encore sleeves which also come in a variety of colours. I've not seen any of these accessories for sale yet in the UK but I will keep my eye out for them and here is the charging cable, USB charging cable so it's a micro USB, it's a standard USB cable I assume you can plug this into your computer or you can use the, the power plug which is provided with the little Windows 8 logo on it. Not too not too sure why it has a Windows 8 logo on it. I assume you could use this to charge any device. Because uh, USB is just 5 volt. So let's try and find the manual. So the quick start manual. And a little plastic wallet. It does include some spam as well, advertising McAfee antivirus. That's always a welcome addition. So the instruction manual for safety and comfort includes some information about the limited warranty. special gift for Toshiba Encore customers a month of free Skype calls it should come in handy if you know other people who use Skype and Windows 8 I don't know anyone so I'll probably keep this until next year <laughs> and here's the Microsoft product ID for office home and student it's actually in German for some reason I couldn't find the English instructions for it but hopefully I shouldn't have any problems with it so let's take this plastic sleeve off the off the actual device and have a look at it the back does actually have some grip to it in the early videos it was actually totally smooth and people were complaining saying that it was extremely slippery but now it has quite a nice grip on it and it actually feels very nice in the hand to hold 
and as you can see from the device it's it's quite a good looking device even though it does have the Toshiba logo on and some Windows 8 devices of the new ones what have come out don't actually have any writing on the front it's n I don't actually find it that big of a deal or that off-putting it actually goes well with the device and it, it, it does look very striking it's a very nice gloss quality finish So here we go. So this is the micro SD port. And here we have the the volume rocker and the power on button. And at the top of the device we have the headphone jack, the HDMI port, the USB port and two microphones on the left and right and on the bottom of the device we have the two audio out ports, two speakers rather. So let's power on the device. It uses a EMMC hard drive, so it's not quite as fast as an SSD, but it should be fast enough for a little tablet like this. So it's default into portrait mode. So this is the regional language settings. It's actually got it all correct, so I'm just going to click next. <clears throat> uh, license terms, so just click next. And now it's beginning to do the setup. And it's asking me to choose a name for the device, so I'm just going to call it tablet. <clears throat> I'm just trying to see if it'll actually go into landscape mode but it seems to just want to stay in portrait for now and now it's asking me to get online I did use the wrong cloth a moment ago by accident and put some fluffles on the screen but I do sort it very shortly So now it's just checking my internet connection settings, making sure it's right. Asked me to check the settings, so I just use Express settings for now. And now it's asking me to sign into my Microsoft account. So we'll go ahead and do that. So it's just setting up my account now on the tablet. Now it's restarting. and now it's just preparing some Windows updates before it starts the computer for the first time that does look very nice though Oops. you can see the viewing angles
okay so i realized that it was taking quite a while here so i decided to uh, get the flyer back out and have a look at it end course down case the touch screen pen and so on that pen does look interesting looks a little strange and there's the sleeve so it's still loading so let's go and find something else to look at I think I found the spam from uh, McAfee and then I realized that the device had started so I pulled it quickly away <laughs> alright here we go so I'm just going to have a quick touch and feel <laughs> So all programs and then uh, I realized the vibrate touch here so I had a good touch it's quite nice so I think this is where the fun begins so I tried to swipe out and oh, okay that was a weird so I search and then the, oh, the keyboard pops up seems a little weird at the moment so I tried to type and then it, it's clearly not running correctly so I do a search just to see what happens so I'm just searching for funny videos here and as you can see nothing's loading it's asking me to swipe out so I swipe out now go back to the start swipe back in to bring that program back and it's not loading and at this moment I'm thinking what the hell is going on uh, so nothing's nothing's popping up here so I'm pressing the start it's not doing anything and then all of a sudden it just comes to life so I'm not too sure what's going on here so I decide to just close it okay so the in investigation begins so I've actually been building and repairing computers for about 15 years so I kind of had have a, an idea about what's causing it here so you can see I'm pointing at it with my finger <laughs> so I, I try and I try to get the camera to zoom in on it but it, it can't really show it because it's that small but it's a little red icon with an M on it I, I wonder what this could be so uh, first thing to do if you think something's hogging the computer making it run slow is, is to go into the task manager and you can get access to that through the taskbar like I did and you you can then scroll through the list of everything what's running on the computer to see what's actually going on and you can see there McAfee so I'm just looking at all the things what McAfee's got running and uh, yeah so I'm, I'm pressing end task here to try and stop it from running and uh, it's, it's, it doesn't want to stop it just wants to just wants to enjoy itself and run free so uh, I think I actually picked the device up here and so you can zoom it so you can just see how much processor usage it's using so it's 91.7% of the processor 93.2% so I'm at this moment I just want to turn it off because it shouldn't be using 92% as soon as I start the computer I haven't got a clue what's going on I just want to remove it I've just spent 250 quid on this device it shouldn't be doing this what the hell is going on and, and I'm just clicking end task end task and nothing I can't I just cannot shut it off absolutely ridiculous So at this point I'm realizing that I just need to uninstall it. So you right click on the desktop and just hold down your finger and then lift up. You can go to personalize and then you can go to uh, desktop icons and add all the desktop icons. So I just added them all because I like them all to be there anyway but they're not there by default and then you can go to my computer then and then once you get to my computer you can uninstall or change a program up there on the top right so 
can just click there and then hopefully McAfee will pop up in the list you go to McAfee antivirus or whatever it's calling itself nowadays and you just click uninstall so I think I actually shouted at the computer a couple of times here so it's asking me what I want, what I want to uninstall so I'm trying to click everything please and look at it, it's just being ridiculous <sighs> so there we go uninstall, yes, do you, are you confirm? yeah, I confirm and it says that it's 50% done straight away and then it says your PC's oh, at risk God. if you want to install this so <laughs> <laughs> oh god it's got it yeah it doesn't it's actually need it because Windows Defender's built into it's Windows 8.1 so it doesn't need this crap yeah. on it so Shiba and it actually says leading innovation Okay, so once the uninstall was complete, it asked me to reboot and then I could carry on from where I was before. So I'll swipe out, search, uh, funny videos, and this is using Microsoft Smart Search. And then if you slide along, you'll see that it, sometimes it shows you apps. So I can go straight to the store, straight to the funny videos app and then install and I can uh, I can swipe through the pictures here to see what the app looks like and then you can also click at the top right to see the download progress and then once it's finished downloading it'll pop up in the top right and you just tap it to open the app So there you go, funny videos channel select, so they've got different channels, so it's just loading all the data in now, so it's basically just a YouTube, like a YouTube app, and uh, the heart button there, you can actually go to um, your own subscription feed, so there's the Oxcast there, so it, it also uses roaming settings, so it, it actually remembers videos you've watched on other Windows 8 devices, so it knows I've watched this one already so you just hold and swipe down for some information about the video and here we go this is this is, <laughs> this is obviously something I watched to, to relax after my hard work attacking the McCarthy Corporation Well, there you go, you've got your pause menu, you can go back home. So it's and then you just hold at the top of an app and then pull it down to the bottom and that's how you close apps. So I'm gonna do a, another search now for another app called uh, Beauty and Fashion, which my girlfriend uses. So obviously as this device is a uh, couch companion, it'll be uh, really good for watching videos on just sat there on the sofa using it in uh, portrait mode so just swipe along here there's beauty and fashion it's a, it's a full full advert or whatever uh, install and same again you can swipe through look what it looks like and you can see the download progress so she, she does actually use this one quite a lot so you just tap to open the app And then I'll we'll just click on Michelle here. You know, it doesn't load the first time. I think it, sometimes it just takes a while because it's actually feeding in from YouTube. So I'll just click on it again. I'll tap. And it actually has the website address, the Twitter address, and so on for the channel. Put the top left. So if we play the video. And it, it will, it will um, automatically play it in like HD quality. So, whatever your internet can support. So you swipe down to get some information about the video, like the description and so on. And then pause. And I decided here to click on one of these adverts here so you can see what the adverts are like in Windows 8.1. So 
it's like a full screen advert or like a pop-up advert but nowhere near as evil so uh, this is for the hobbit the desolation of smaug which is coming out soon so it's actually pretty cool this it's, it's almost like an app within an app so just trying to tap on gallery here i think the developers need to work on that a bit but i need to load some pictures in so you can swipe up and down see pictures from the movie go back up to the top so this is actually this is actually an advert believe it or not even though it's actually got some pretty cool content really so you can see characters and you've got the media there we go you can actually download wallpapers for your, for your tablet your computer and to go back you just click the back button and it takes you straight back to where you were in the app which is you know it's quite nice that very impressed and then close again. Thanks for watching the video. It's unlikely that I'll be doing another unboxing video of a Windows 8 device soon. But if you'd like to see some more videos and unboxing videos, reviews, and so on, you should probably head on over to Surface Geeks. So if you click on this, it'll actually take you to their subscription page on YouTube and uh, from there you can get access to their website and so on they do have some really really cool content so yeah definitely head on over there and keep up to date with what's going on with Windows 8 cheers